Hey guys and welcome to the shack. In this video I just want to talk about some uh, renovations that I'm doing to organize all my chemicals. Um, so uh, you'll see that everything is a lot cleaner than uh, my original video where I gave a lab tour. Um, and I've managed to clean everything up uh, and organize all my chemicals by type without getting rid of any chemicals and I've actually bought more. Um, so I did that by going to Sam's and getting another set of shelving, uh, which I'll talk about later. So that's allowed me to organize everything much more effectively. So I'm just going to talk about uh, all the different categories uh, that I segregate my chemicals into and give you some ideas when you're storing your chemicals. So over here I have metals and then next to them flammable substances. Um, and then reducing agents. Uh, at, on this shelf I have less hazardous substances like water, uh, mineral oil, table salt. There are a few more hazardous things like uh, calcium sulfate, or sorry, copper sulfate and calcium chloride. Uh, but this is generally less reactive and less hazardous stuff. And on the back shelf I have three more categories. Down at the bottom is oxidizers, and then I have acids, um, and you'll notice that the bleach is way back there, um, and hydrochloric acid is right there. Um, when I was cleaning out uh, my the other shelf, um, I actually noticed that I had been storing hydrochloric acid right next to bleach, and then the bleach right next to ammonia. So that's two opportunities to generate uh, chlorine gas, um, which now I can avoid because hydrochloric acid is right there, uh, bleach is right there, and then ammonia is up here. And speaking of up here, this shelf is bases and carbonates. Now with this shelving, um, I'm thinking about putting some cardboard down, uh, just so that if there is any spill, it doesn't leak on the it doesn't leak onto the shelves below it. Um, and another reason to put cardboard is uh, to store vials and things because if I just put a vial in here, you can see it doesn't like to, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, so, uh, but you can store vials on these shelves and in fact you can store it on uh, these things on the outer, uh, on the border and they, you see it's pretty sturdy. So now I just want to talk about some key incompatibilities, uh, just chemicals that you shouldn't store uh, close together and preferably on different shelves. That's why I got uh, this other shelf. Um, so chemicals to store on different shelves uh, would be acids and bases, acids and metals, oxidizers and reducers, and oxidizers and flammables. Um, it's also a good idea to store acids separate from oxidizers, and here I'm not doing a terribly good job of that because they're on the same shelf, uh, but as I said, cardboard will help. Um, because some hydrohalic acids like hydrochloric acid and hydrobromic acid and hydroiotic acid can be oxidized by strong oxidizers like uh, sodium or calcium hypochlorite to form their pure halogen counterparts and you do not want a halogen floating around in your lab area killing you. That would not be very fun.